Yo, what is up guys? It is Mogul here, your number one Harley, and today we're gonna switch it up a little bit with a new video series. We're gonna start reviewing some Harley VODs. Uh, I'll give my feedback, some criticism, critiques, on what I think could be improved, what you're doing really well, and things like that. If you guys like it, we will make a video series out of it, so let me know in the comments what you think. Without further ado, we got one from our friend Player Called Apple. Let's check it out. It'll be pretty cool, I think. Alright, so here we have the video, guys. Let's just go ahead and head right on into it. We'll break down everything as we keep going here. Harley Ditto, alright, like the Harley Ditto. Alright, first thing first here. Let's take a look at some perks. Projectile speed is fine on Harley. There's still better options. But the damage perks here, Deadshot and Snowball Effect, you can completely get rid of those. Those aren't helping you compared to many other things you should be using, like Triple Jump ice or some kind of speed perk or utility perk um and then in a unique perk sense you'll get way more out of confetti if you learn confetti and really learn how to use it how the combos are with it boat mode with it all of that fun stuff glove control is still usable and still very viable but confetti is better overall you should also just be using triple jump no matter what all right let's get into some gameplay here Okay, play some neutral play very patient all right pause so right there with the bat plushie you try to go for the up special out of it it's good to have harley above the your opponent above you at all times that's true but in this case we want to rack up some damage first we got to get some big damage numbers out going first so we want to use it as a uh we want to use it as a combo starter here so if like you're playing neutral and they're away from you Use it like in the hit stun when they're in the hit stun from the bat plushie. Then you jump in with fair or jabs or something, and then you can start racking up some big damage rather than already fishing for a really early kill. The early kills are good, but especially in the Harley dude, you probably want to rack up some damage and get some good combos going first. There you go. Right here, since we are since we're still early game here. I throw in another fair before you go for the hammer right here. Because our first goal as Harley Quinn is to rack up big damage, like I, like I mentioned a little bit earlier. The hammer can put them in a really bad spot already. Like, it's definitely good to get them on a ledge trap scenario or something like that. But throw in a fair and do another set of jabs. Then you'd, they'd probably be at like 50 to 60. And that's a lot more high, closer of a kill percent. A lot more knockback when you hit them. Rather than them being at 35 or whatever they'll end up with. Yeah, yep, down air, down air, uh, hammer is a very good, very good neutral play right now. There you go, backswing. Gotta call the backswing out. Okay, with that bear, with that bat plushie, the bat plushie there didn't really give you a whole lot of use because you just kind of threw it up rather than at them. You throw it up here. There's no way that's going to give you any coverage when they're coming back to the stage right here. I would like to see it come more this way or like even throw it like up in this direction towards the like top right because then you can come in with a hammer or start like a really early good ledge guard scenario here <clears throat> a good ledge guard scenario here rather than just throwing it in outer space like yeah she can come on stage but you were in a really good advantage st spot right there to really wreck on a, probably an early gimp kill uh on good execution okay hammer stale so we should be going for fair here to reset hammer you're never gonna kill with hammer now. Reset neutral. Good up special there. Good call out. Good box placement. If only box wasn't broken. See, this one made a little. This bad plush made a little bit more sense because you're closer to the ledge. Now you're in a really optimal spot here. This is really where you want to have like confetti, because then you can come like more over them and they can't really do anything about it. Rather than glove control, you kind of have to go at this angle, right? You're still in good good scenario there. All right, a couple hammers could get her back and reset neutral. Looks like you just missed the second jab there. There you go. All right, up special. All right, that's just working on some movement there. Uh, that's a really common kill confirm. If you have bat plushie on them, uh, take note of what percent they're at. Like at 125, you're gonna have to jump. Real, you're gonna have to do your pretty much a max jump. There again with the bat plushie. You can wait to detonate it until you're in a better spot. But you're doing really good so far against this Harley. Welcome. 
complaints yet. Very good, very good patience here. You don't want to ever force anything when they're at big percents like this. You're doing a good job of being patient. Good call out, good inference on that one. Box just doesn't work. <laughs> Box is funny. Okay, the hammer. And for you coming back to the stage there, you saw she was charging neutral hammer. Uh, right here, it's throw out the up special. It's better than just dodging back on the stage because then it puts you back into an advantage state. So every time I'm on the ledge, I'm always looking at how I can reverse it because Harley's vertical tools are so, so good that she can easily reverse it and put it back on somebody else if they get too overzealous with their edge guard. Like you got it back into advantage state, but you could have done more with the up special or up air. We should be resetting uh, resetting in here. There's a good there. Now it's probably reset. Okay, good patience again. Nice. See, there with the hammer, you don't ever really want to go hammer into hammer. Like, if you're going, uh, unless you get the hammer cancel, the hot hammer that we that I found back in tech test 2, if you do that, that's fine. <laughs> but um, for grounded hammer, you don't ever really want to try to follow with with uh, with a net with a next nair, unless you can unless you know how they're going to react. Like, but mostly it's good to just try and get more cover from like a vertical standpoint with your down air or go into a fair, something that can lead into a combos, and then you hit the grounded hammer on ledge, and it's a free kill. So right there, we should have set up for some edge guard. They were in a bad spot. Okay. Yep, into the fair. There you go. Uh, fair that. You gotta fair that after the side special. Really good start, though. You're, like, you're, you're definitely winning this one. Nice. You're playing really patient. That's going to really help out. Don't dodge towards them. Don't dodge towards them. Yeah. Dodging towards them is a no-go. Especially against Harley. Don't use down tilt leader like that guy just did. Down tilt sucks. Especially in neutral. It's good on ledge guard, I guess. Okay. Be patient. Don't try to f f fish for the kills too hard. You go back to the dare game. There you go. And there we go, that's game one. Uh, overall, game one was pretty decent. You played really patient. That's uh, pretty much how you have to play any matchup with Harley. Really, really patient. All right, back to the gameplay. Here we go. Okay, remember to play patient. Get some good combos games here. A little high for the dare, but that's okay. If you're that high on dare, you can't really combo out of it very well. Like, yeah, you can go into the hammer. That's good. good oh, nice. I like the side special coverage there. Cape really saved. That was insane. That was a really good combo. Kramulon's combo, nonetheless, but it was good. She's already at kill percent. Okay. It's okay to go for that. That's a little risky, though. I don't really go for up tilt supercharge much. Okay. <laughs> oh, that would have been sick. <laughs> backswing? Nice. Yeah. You gotta get the backswing. That's nice. Good kill. So far, this game's been going way better already. You got some really good combos out. Like, that's how I was saying, though. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You should be thanking your lucky stars on that one. <laughs> you should have got smoked by that hammer. <laughs> but yeah, so, like, how in this how in the second game here, you're racking up a lot of damage easy with the uh, the speaker from Cromulons, and then, you're, then they're in really easy kill percent. You're ready to just annihilate them after that. Uh, you should have got hit by that, by the way. <laughs> Backswing. I don't know what that hammer was, but it's okay. Alright, be careful here. You don't need to overextend. Just play patient. Cromulons is smaller, but you gotta play patient. There you go. Backswing? Uh. Ooh, that was interesting. Oh, that's dare. Yep. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Did you hit it? Did... Pause. Did you hit the hot hammer? Did you do it? <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, look at it! Look at the hot hammer. But you got the you got the hit. Then you can follow that up with fair. It's worth it to go for it. It's just uh, I have about eighty percent success rate on it. Ooh, that's a dangerous spot to be. Fair that you got a fair after that. You got to rack up more damage. You can't just go for the neutral hammer there. Like yeah, it's a shorter stage, but they're better at kill percent. Alright, good set play with the box. 
di in yep there you go see like you're playing neutral with hammer which is fine and all but you have a lot of you have a lot more neutral tools like if when it when it comes down to just hammer swing hammer swing hammer swing it makes it a lot more easy a lot more even for harley for the harley ditto when you're just going hammer 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 then it's just whoever hits more hammers like that's that's not a good way to play the Harley matchup specifically, or neutral in general. Alright. Good patient. Good stall. Backswing. Yeah, see there. I was a little lucky there, but that was a good finish. Good finish, though. I got three main tips for you here. Number one, uh, work on your movement and, like, your fast falling and stuff. A lot of combos and things that I'm seeing, like, especially on Hammer, uh, you're not fast falling it enough. Or you're not following up with like a fair or something enough. So working your movement and even you can just do that in the lab. Neutral game isn't just hammer. Like yes, hammer is going to get you really far and you're going to be able to climb pretty good with hammer. But against the best players, against the mirror mans or the Sanooms of the world, right? You're not just going to get away with doing hammer. They, they know it's coming. The good players in multiverses know how to deal with hammer. So you have to switch up your combo game. You have to know... Pretty much the ins and outs of Harley to uh, really succeed with her. It's not just hammer spam. Number three, edge game potential here. On ledge guard, if they're sitting like right here, you have to be uh, specifically against Harley. You have to know that the side B is coming. Uh, and it can hit you with glove control from what from the height you need to be. So confetti would help, obviously. Uh, definitely try confetti. I would That would be another suggestion I would make. Cause you could stay high enough where that up special she'll try she'll whiff it on you and she just plummets to the ground off of your down air you don't even need projectile speed for it it just takes a lot of practice to get that really no sh that really glide movement that i always do with confetti the glide tech really cool stuff uh bear is also a really threatening tool you can you have a bunch of different angles that you can throw the bear at in order to cover options like if, if you're if you think they're going to recover to the right uh, throw it a little bit more to the right. You think they're going to try and high recover and just spam dodge. Throw it up a little bit. But I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, if I need to explain anything further, please leave a comment down below and I'll get to every single one that I can. I always try my best to get to everything and help out as much as I can. If you guys want to see more of these VOD reviews, this one was a little bit shorter since so we only got the six minutes. Uh, but I'd really like to make a series out of this if you guys are, are interested in it. If you are, also leave a comment let me know if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon on to know when we drop another video we got a lot of cool gameplay stuff coming up more vod reviews hopefully in the future uh we got some montages coming up so i know you guys are gonna be psyched for those i'm gonna do really cool harley montages gizmo lebron lots of stuff coming up on multiverses content so make sure you're ready for that and make sure you hop by a twitch stream to see your number one Harley in action. We'll probably do some live VOD reviews too on the Twitch channel. We're always doing viewer games if you want to hang out, have a good time, get better at multiverses, have a, and just have a good time. In the meantime though, I will see you guys in the next video.